and we are having a pre-clinic day today and on Monday. Oh, two hours of very hard to do neurological exam because they're very nervous. Well, we are in the beautiful town of San Cristobal de las Casas in Chiapas State. This is our entrance to our Airbnb and we're going to go check some things out. Um, but basically I'm doing some Spanish lessons while I'm here so I can better help with the government and organizations we work with. And we're working with a local rescue organization um, to do some work <laughs> with some doggies. <laughs> so yeah, it's very exciting. We're excited to be here in a new city. Waiting for you. Waiting. I made it. <laughs> it's also probably the most clothes you guys will ever see us wear because it's actually cold <laughs> here. <laughs> That's true. Well, for now, it's just you with a coffee. <laughs> this is the Iglesia de Guadalupe, and apparently, we can get some really good views up here. San Cristobal de las Casas is a colonial city in the central highlands of Chapa State. It was colonized and founded in 1530, and although the city itself has no pre-Hispanic history, the surrounding areas are rich with indigenous culture that can be seen in and around San Cristobal de las Casas. It's infamous for its amazing markets and food, and with three language schools, it's a great place to do some Spanish lessons. Well, my first Spanish lesson went well. I feel like I learned a lot and I'm very excited to be able to communicate better in Spanish because um, well, it's just very important with the work I do, being able to talk to people about their pets, but also to be able to talk to the government more so I can organize more campaigns and things. I think it's gonna be really important. And this afternoon, we're gonna go meet up with the um, organization we're gonna be working this week, this week with dog rescues and Hopefully some vaccinations and sterilizations. So we'll go do that. Exciting stuff, keeping busy. And do you do them every day or do you come every day? This is a work yeah. of the same day because of CCOM is a local animal charity that works to catch, neuter, and rehome or release the stray dogs of San Cristobal de las Casas. Only one veterinarian works here, and although they receive government funding, help from travelers like us makes all the difference to their work. We met up with the team and discussed the best ways I could help. Along with another organisation, Dama Unapata, we came up with a plan to host some free clinic days and funded the vaccination for rescue dogs looking for homes. With our work organised, we continued to explore the amazing cultural hub of San Cristobal de las Casas. The markets are an overwhelming display of colour and vibrant life. We are at CCAM, which is a um, government-run veterinary clinic here that does um, sterilization programs. And we are having a free clinic day today and on Monday where people can come and I'll consult with them for free and then we can organize medication and things for their sick animals. So it should be good fun. So um, they have free rabies vaccines here with the government, which is awesome. And look how many they have, because <laughs> they do all the street dogs and any animal that needs it. So <laughs> yeah, so maybe we'll do some rabies vaccinations today too. 
With two veterinarians in the clinic, I began consulting while doctor got to spaying and neutering. My day started with one of my favourite disorders. Okay. Um, this dog has a anal gland problem. As you can see, she has an infected anal gland. <laughs> it's very graphic. Um, it's a pretty common problem in dogs. Uh, the anal glands get impacted and then they get infected and eventually it turns into an abscess which can burst, which is what has happened for this little baby. I'm just emptying the uh, normal one and it's very small but it's a little blocked. Thankfully, with antibiotic and anti-inflammatory treatment, she will recover very quickly and will be coming in for monthly anal gland checkups. So um, she has mites and that's why her skin is so thick here. They cause a big reaction and um, this, you lose, they lose fur from it and the skin gets very thick and the fur is very easy to pull out because the mites are living in the follicles and eating the skin and the hair follicles. Here they call it sana. But it can be treated with ivermectin, which we have lots of. My brain's not that good. We quickly began to realise that Chihuahuas really are the dog of Mexico. And it turns out it's a worldwide Chihuahua pack to hate veterinarians. The perks of being veterinarian. Our final Chihuahua case of the day was a little more difficult. How long they've had him for? Whether they, ch I don't know whether she was saying he's had this problem for 15 days or whether she's only had him for 15 days. So this little doggy, we put him on the ground. He keeps going this in this direction. Come here, Baba. Come here. Finger, finger. Hmm. See how he kind of goes this way, and his little head's tilted that way a little bit as well. And I'm guessing that's why he's falling. It probably means he has a something called uh, kind of within his brain that's telling him that he's falling over when he's not. Okay. Okay. Oh. I see. See. Um, so basically, yeah, he's kind of keeps walking to his right, and he's when he does that, he's holding his head like this. And that can be a problem with his middle ear where his balance is off, or it can be a problem in his, like within his brain, where it's telling, it's sending the incorrect signal. So he thinks he's falling over and tries to kind of correct it and then falls. Um, Two hours are very hard to do neurological exam on because they're very nervous. So some of the tests you would normally do help test how their brain's functioning. They're just so stiff and scared that it doesn't work. It's been happening for a little while because these claws are a lot longer than these ones, which means he's been wearing these for some time because he's been going in circles. Without advanced diagnostics, I was unable to truly diagnose this little dog's problem. But using my veterinary knowledge, I could treat for the most common causes in this part of the world in a chihuahua of this age. Also knowing it's been happening a long time helped narrow it down. 
I made my best guess and started a treatment with antibiotics and corticosteroid therapy. And we've since heard the little chihuahua responded to treatment and we are doing some dose adjustments to try and manage his condition long term, even without a definitive diagnosis. We saw many patients and spoke to many owners, all of whom were so grateful for us being there. It was a really rewarding experience and of course would not have been possible without each and every one of you. We felt so good about everything, we decided it was time to take a nice little break. We are in the um, Parque de Arcotepe, which is around 15 minutes um, from downtown San Cristobal. And it's a really beautiful park, a nice natural area with caves and river systems and things. So we'll uh, show you around, but it's very beautiful here. And a little cold. See, we can do the um, like, you know, where like she does that bit because she's on the movie. <laughs> The path is getting a little less clear, but thankfully we have these nice caution tapes telling us we're ready to go. Down the path. Jim's fault we got lost. He calls himself the human GPS, but I'm not so sure now. The trail ended. It did no end. Choice. There really was. <laughs> yeah, we like walked and walked and then it was just like, oh, there's a lot of trees. We can't no go any further. Go. Oh well. We, well we didn't get lost lost. No, we never lost. We knew where we were. <laughs> 
Next episode, we do a vaccination tour of San Cristobal before heading back to Chuff to say goodbye until haul out. You can watch live updates of the haul out for as little as a dollar a month by becoming a patron. Until next time, stay chuffed, everybody. <laughs>